Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. This is going to be one of the fastest tutorials because it's one line of code. Today we're going to be learning how to save a frame out of an After Effects composition to a PNG file with one line of code. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this on GitHub. It is one line, but it's there for you. Follow us there for coding updates and down in the description as well. You can follow us on Instagram for other updates. Updates. If you want to get more help outside of these videos, you can join the Discord server, get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Now I have a simple comp set up here with just a piece of footage in here. And what we're going to do is look at the built-in function to be able to save a frame to a PNG file. This is super useful if you don't want to have to go through the render queue and deal with a bunch of other stuff. So essentially how this works is you need a composition item, which in this case I just have set to active item. So if I wanted to, I could store this as a variable, but I don't need to in this case. And then we call the method save frame to PNG, which requires two arguments. The first one is the time at which we want to save the frame of. So we can select any time within our composition. Um, and then what I'm going to do is actually grab whatever time I want of our composition. This needs to be in seconds. So if you wanted uh, one second in to be your screenshot, you would use one second. And you can also get creative with this. You could say your composition dot duration times 0.5 because some animations may have some in and out animation. So halfway through the comp, it may be totally visible and you can select that. But for now, I'm just gonna choose say one second. And then for the file object, we need to have a file object. And then inside of our file object, we need to have the path to where we want to save this, including the file name and the PNG extension. So I'm going to just go ahead and save this into my desktop. So I would have my relative reference to my desktop and we'll call this screenshot fog.png. So if I go ahead and run this, uh, I should get a return of something that was saved. And if I look on my desktop, I now have the file being populated here with my screenshot of my fog from one second inside of the composition. And of course, you can go through and automate this for as many different compositions and other things as possible and uh, get some quick screenshots done. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And again, down in the description, you can check out this code and follow us on GitHub down there as well. You can follow us on Instagram for updates. If you want to get more help outside of these videos, join the Discord server and join the scripting extensions, plugins, expressions, and many other communities. And if you want to help support the channel and get cool perks at the same time on YouTube, become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or a VIP. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.